Welcome back to another game of Beat Re and Fran. This is game number 139, and we are joined by sisters, Sarah and Gemma. I always think sisters have a little bit of an advantage because I feel like they're communicating through their brains, but we shall see what happens. Yeah. And, then, and watch a lot of stuff together. Yeah, right, different exactly. Things, you know? yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, but... Thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you. So excited. All right. We're going to jump into it. It's 15 questions. If you get the question right, you get the point. If you get it wrong, the other team can steal the point. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. To determine who goes first, Noah's going to give us a movie. We're going to guess the Rotten Tomatoes critic score of that movie. And whoever is the closest, your team will go first. And everyone gets their own individual guess. We will alternate between teams for guesses. So, Noah, what is today's movie? Today's movie is Made in Manhattan. Jennifer Lopez. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so one of you guys um, guess first. G, you go first. Okay. Um, I've never seen this movie, but I feel like it's probably not very good. So I'm going to go like 35. Honestly, fair, fair thought. I'm going to go 52. Okay. I think... 47. I'm going to say 43. Gemma's the closest. It's 38. 38. Mm. Yes, G. Oh, Nailed I could have gone a little, got a little Let's lower. go. Shit. <laughs> All right. Question number one to Sarah and Gemma. Shout out Matt from Marlboro, New Jersey. What movie franchise featured the fictional restaurant chain Pizza Planet? It's Toy, Toy Story, right? Yeah. Yeah. Toy Story. Final answer. Final answer. Correct. All right. Okay, we're already watching it. <laughs> One, nothing, Sarah and Gemma. Question number two from Matt from Marlboro again. In You've Got Mail, both Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks characters sell what type of product? Um, they are book sellers. They both sell books. Yep. Final answer. Yep. Correct. Yep. So you just watched that movie on a plane. Oh, really? For the first time. I'd really? never seen it. I don't it. think I've oh. ever yeah. seen it. It's a, oh. great, it's a good movie. Yeah. It is, but I've seen it years ago. I yeah. don't really remember. Okay, tied up at one. Question number three to Sarah and Gemma. Shout out Kelly from Atlanta and Marita from Nashville. Who anchored the surfing competition at this year's Olympics? Colin Jost, right? He kept getting hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Colin Jost, final answer. Correct. Wow. Yeah, the, the Two on the board. The man <laughs> refused to stop surfing himself and <laughs> just like really fucked up his foot really badly. He was post posting pictures of it. It was gross. He like, couldn't do his job. I completely <laughs> missed all of that. <laughs> yeah. He loves to surf. It was a whole big thing. Okay. Uh, two, one, Sarah and Gemma. Question number four to Rian Fran. Shout out Ashley from Frederick, Maryland. What Maroon 5 song do Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth sing during the truck scene in the last song? I don't mind spending every day out of the corner of the pouring rain for a girl with a broken smile. Ask her she will she be loved. Say, oh. Yep, and there we go. And she will, yep, be loved. Final answer. Yep. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Okay, wow. Hot start. Yeah. <laughs> Tied up at two. And it's question number five to Sarah and Gemma. Shout out Kelly from Ambler, Pennsylvania. Into all the boys I've loved before, what does Kitty wear on the first day of school when in the car with Laura Jean? I've watched it exactly once. I've watched it so many times, but I can't <laughs> think of it. Kitty is the little sister. Um... I have no idea. What would she be wearing? I don't. I don't even remember the little sister. So it was all you. I think she wears. Does she wear cat ears? Is that it? Because her name's Kitty. Five. That'll seven. final answer. Cat ears. Incorrect. Mm. Friend. Yeah. I have no clue. I was also gonna guess cat yeah. ears. Cat sweater. Kitty. <laughs> like I don't. I, I don't. I don't have a guess. I have no clue. A tail. <laughs> I have no idea. No clue. 15 seconds. A cat onesie? Sure. Okay. K 
cat onesie. Silence. Yeah. Incorrect. I like that you guys were really going off the ki- the name, mm-hmm. but it was a helmet. Oh. She wears a helmet in the car oh, for safety. Yeah. Oh, because she's a bad driver. Yeah. Yep, 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 yeah. yep. Still tied up at two. This is question number six to Rand Fran. Shout out Carly from Colorado. We haven't had a year question in a while, I feel like. so. Yeah. All right, lay it on us. Name this year based on these movie premieres. Meet the Fockers, The Polar Express, 50 First Dates. <sighs> Meet the Fockers. Meet That's the, the second one. Is this, yes. Um, Polar Express and 51st Date. 2004? That sounds like a good guess. Three, five, four? Ten seconds. I think it might be a little later. 2007? Five. Maybe we should go six then? Okay. Time is. 2006, final answer. Incorrect. Gem and Sarah. Do you remember okay. like how old you were for Polar? No, Express? but I remember that I watched it like every year in middle school, in elementary school. So before that. So like 2004 maybe. I have no guess. So 2004. Okay. Yeah, 2004. Final answer. Yeah. Correct. Fucking hell. S G. Good job. Sorry. I just thought it was later because I like specifically remember watching Meet the Fockers and I just feel like I would have been a little older, yeah. but I guess I wasn't. No, you... My my parents didn't, you know, <laughs> hide those movies from me, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay, three, two, Sarah and Gemma. This is question number seven to them. Shout out Matt again from Marlboro, New Jersey. Through the first two seasons of the American version of Traders. Which reality show franchise has been most represented? Have you watched this at all? I'm watching them right now, yes. Because I've been in a reality TV dry spell. I feel like... Something Bravo, Real Housewives. I don't know though. Because they they have a lot of Bravo shows. Maybe, is that like its own franchise? Real Housewives? Yeah. I think okay. so. Oh, do we? Do you want a specific franchise like Real Housewives of? Five seconds. It, uh, it, it can be general, like whatever the show is. Okay. Okay. Right, then Real Housewives. Correct. Housewives. Real Housewives. Yeah. I think they barely edged it. I like was looking, adding everything up. They, there's like a lot of Big Brother too. There's a lot mm-hmm. of Big Brother, yeah. Okay, four two, Sarah and Gemma. Question number eight to Rian Fran. Shout out Taylor from Kennewick, Washington. In Freaky Friday, what is hanging on Anna's necklace? I have no clue. I can't really even picture it. Me either. A skull? Fifteen seconds. It's like a... Is it the choker with the... Yeah, I guess. Five I seconds. Skull. Incorrect. Sarah and Gemma. I don't know what instrument she plays, but that's where my brain went. I was going to say, is it a guitar pick? Oh, a pick. That's really smart. Let's you I, say I, that. Better. Yeah, guitar pick. Okay, yeah, guitar pick. Correct. That, that, is, guitar that pick. was really smart. That really was. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> They are on fire. We don't yeah. stand. We don't stand a chance. <laughs> I don't think we've missed one question. Five two. Uh, Sarah and Gemma, and this is question number nine to them. Shout out Abby from Austin, Texas. In the "I Can Do It with a Broken Heart" music video, Taylor Swift is wearing a fluffy pink coat. What other music video does she wear it in? Um, this is our question, right? Yes. I think in "You Need to Calm Down." Oh, good call. When she's like dancing around with everybody. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, go with it. Okay. Um, you need to calm down. Correct. Final nice. answer. Wow. Yeah. I'm, ro- I'm rooting for you guys good. at this point. Gemma's an, a- <laughs> Gemma's an absolute ringer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, six to, uh, this is question number 10 to Rian Fran. I'm gonna play a movie clip and you tell me what movie it's from. Still, it's a matter of what you do now. If you decide to go, then you gotta just get on with it. 
sit back, enjoy the ride. You gotta plant both your feet on the ground and start living life. How did you get here? I'm telling you, it's a hell of a story. Is that Matthew McConaughey? It does kind of sound like him, but at the same time, like, kind of doesn't sound like him. I don't know. Is it in her cellar? I don't know. That's my only... I feel like that, like, background music was, like, interstellar -y. That's true. 15 seconds. Do you have something else? No. I couldn't decide if it was Matthew McConaughey or not. Yeah. I, c I couldn't either. It did sound like him, though. But was it George Clooney? Oh. Five seconds. Ooh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh no, what's, I don't Time know. Time is up. Oh god, we gotta guess Interstellar, but it's not. Interstellar. <sighs> Fuck. Sarah and Gemma. I, I do think it's George Clooney, but I don't know what from. I don't even know what is he in. I don't either. I can't think of a single thing. Is he in like the Oceans movies? Yeah, or but there's so many of them. Just pick an ocean. <laughs> I don't even know what ones there are. Okay, we'll say that one. Okay, Ocean's 13. <laughs> Incorrect. It is George Clooney. It's Gravity. Gravity! Mm. Oh, okay, well, well Interstellar, yeah, you yeah. know what it is. I was like, you I was had the wrong some... actor in space. Yep, yeah. but I knew they were in space. It was space. It was spacey <laughs> yeah. music, for sure. I couldn't remember what space movie. That's the one with Sandra Bullock? Yeah, that, yeah. that was her voice. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, still 6-2. Sarah and Gemma, and this question to them. Shout out Kendall and Taylor from Tillenburg, Ontario, Canada. In the movie, he's just not that into you. What actress is Bradley Cooper's character married to, and what actress does he cheat on her with? He's married to... Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She has black hair. I don't know her name. What else is she in? Who cheats on her with I have no idea who she is. <laughs> no, I have literally no clue. I can give you half, but not the other. So <laughs> pass. Five seconds. Okay. To read yeah. So he's married to mm -hmm. Jennifer Connelly. Yes. And, and he, he cheats, cheats with Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson. Johansson. Yes. Yeah. Final answer. Correct. I, for a second, I thought I wasn't coming up with her name either. You can just, but you She's, can picture yeah. her. Mm -hmm. She, yeah. Even once you said it, I still have no clue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> she was in Blood Diamond. She's, yeah, she's, she's like great. Jennifer so Conley's great. She's really good, but yeah. yeah, for some reason her name is like Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And she's married to um the guy from that. Now this is gonna be the guy from the Avengers. He's the uh, Paul Bettany. Paul Bettany. Yep, yep. Thank you. Not that I would ever. I don't know his. It's name. him and Elizabeth Olsen in Wandavision. Never saw it. Really? Well, I, I recognize him, but oh, I never good. seen would have that. liked WandaVision just as I a standalone even show. I, even I liked WandaVision. Yeah. Oh, you watched it? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, what kind of response is that? No, no. It was just like, because you're not a Marvel person. like. Okay. No, it was like, okay. <laughs> like, oh, maybe I got to check it out. <laughs> okay. 6-3, Sarah and Gemma. And this is question number 12 to Rian Fran. Shout out Libby and Sophia from Lafayette, Louisiana. In Friends, when the group is at Central Perk, they overhear a man crying to a friend because he's just learned that his wife is sleeping with her gynecologist. Which actor plays the crying man? This is all you. Friends trivia. <laughs> I got nothing. Gotta, I think I gotta do a Friends rewatch just, just, to, start, be, just honestly, to be better at this show. I honestly just started watching it from season one again because yeah. of this reason. Yeah. Um, like, there's without a doubt always a Friends question. Five seconds. Is it one of the guys that Phoebe ends up with? Time is up. I don't know. No clue. Okay. To Sarah and Gemma. I think it's Robin Williams. Super randomly. Okay. I think it's him, oh. like, doing a funny accent. Um, Robin Williams. Final answer. Correct. Nice. Wow. Oh. It was him and Billy Crystal. Nice. Oh, okay. Billy Crystal. I can like him. hear it in my head. <laughs> yeah, he was doing a very it's like weird one accent. one little scene, like super Yeah, randomly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That actually, like, I watched the clip yesterday and I was like, this is funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Friends is oh, very gosh. funny, Noah. Noah. <laughs> um, okay, 7-3. Yeah, they crushed us. 
Sarah and Gemma. <laughs> Crushed us. Uh, well deserved. We got three questions left. This is to uh, Sarah and Gemma. Shout out Libby and Sophia from Lafayette again. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, what is the name of the night bus driver that brings Harry to the Leaky Cauldron? I believe it's Stan Shunpike. Yes. Stanley Shunpike. <laughs> Final answer. Incorrect. Mm. What? Is that not it? I ran this by Kelly Keeks. Let's repeat the question. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, what is the name of the night bus driver that brings Harry to the Leaky Cauldron? I'm, I would have said the same thing. Stan Shunpike. Sarah shaking her head. Now. I don't know. That's, That's all not I the got. Answer. Thank God. That's all <laughs> I got. <laughs> I'm like starting to get worried over here. All right. What's the answer? I got Ernie. And I, it he's might... the conductor. He's Ernie's like the guy not driving the bus. Mm. No, Stan Shunpike Stan's... is not the driver. Kelly Keegs was he's like very... the one who like welcomes them on. Oh, uh, take it. Away. Yeah, but er oh, Ernie's driving it was the bus, by and Ernie Stan Prang. is the conductor. Stan is the conductor. I got gotcha. Stan's yeah, welcoming yep, everybody yep, on. Yep, Ernie's driving. Yep, yep, okay. Yep. 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 Tricky. Tricky. Very tricky. tricky. Friend, I mean, uh, Kelly did say it was like a harder. Yeah, it's true. That's question. a tricky question, because you you automatically go Stan. Yeah, still seven three. Question number fourteen, and this is to Rian French. Shout out Carly from Colorado. What does Lady Gaga use as rollers in her hair in the telephone music video? Man, I was listening to the telephone a lot. You were listening to the song, watch, but not the music video. I didn't watch the music video. I don't know. Pasta? I don't know. Shoes? It's with heels. Yeah. Heel sure. Heels. Incorrect. To <clears throat> Sarah Jones. Oh. I don't know if I've ever seen the music video. I don't think I have. This is in her meat dress era, though, so my head went right to like Something weird for some reason. <laughs> It could be. Did I'm trying to think of like, that? what could you use as I a roller? So. Like, what's that shape? 15 seconds. I don't know. All I have is hot dogs on my brain. <laughs> hot dogs. Incorrect. Is it, is it phones? No. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> uh, it's Diet Coke cans. Mm. Oh. I wouldn't have guessed that, For but I'm really relieved it wasn't phones. I was going to say bottles. It, yeah, this is definitely a... Yeah. <laughs> I'm so relieved it wasn't phones. Yeah. <laughs> I would have been pissed. <laughs> that would have made sense, I guess. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. phones like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 7-3, final question. And this is to Sarah and Gemma. Shout out Carly from Colorado again. On Hannah Montana, their version of Build-A-Bear was called Make a... What? Make a blank. Like make a friend, make a, was it a different animal? I don't know. I have I don't... no idea. Do you think it was like a different animal? 15 seconds. It can't just be make a bear. That's no. Oops. Make a. Five seconds. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, to re friend. Make a pal. Make a toy. Make a pet. I don't know. Make a pal. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't have. I don't make know. a monkey. Yeah, just for the, just for the M M reason. Yeah. Why not? Okay, make a monkey. Incorrect. <sighs> you were close with the M. It's make a moose. Oh, make, yeah, a make a moose. A moose. Oh, moose does the moose thing. Oh, oh. Damn. I was trying to think of other M animals. There's nothing was coming. Yeah, to me. yeah. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Final well, score seven three. Yeah, guys, great win. Well, done, well guys. deserved. Absolutely smoked us. Great <laughs> job. You guys did awesome. And yeah, you guys deserved that win. We absolutely did not, clearly. Yep. Um, but you guys <laughs> will get shirts that say well you done. beat us. So congratulations. And we really appreciate you guys coming on. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Awesome. I'm so glad yeah. we got one right. Oh, <laughs> we got more, got more than one. More than one. 
You got more than you one. Got, that was our goal. Yeah, yeah, you got more than one. So Absolutely you Absolutely crushed it. You know, very much exceeded your goal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well done, guys. Yeah, Thanks thank for coming you so on. much. So nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thanks.